Hi, Timothy Unger here. And in this video, I've got the simple JavaScript document. I've got Emacs on JS2 mode, and it's giving me some warnings telling me that there's some stuff that might not be quite right. And I look at it and I wanna fix a few things. Uh, so I'm gonna show you how to fix these things in both Vim and Emacs. And when I mean Vim, I'm using Emacs, but evil mode. So this will also work in Vim. Okay, so let's start off with the Vim way. So the first thing I notice is the line, my name is Tim and here's a poem, uh, is the third line. And that starts, um, you know, it should be at the top. So that's that's not like a, a coding error, but I, I want to move that line up. So I'm one thing I can do when I'm in normal mode in Vim is I could just do DD to delete a line. That'll put it on the register. I want to go to insert to move this line down and then just paste it. And let's just get rid of that line. Okay. Uh, so that was three movements to do that. It's not that bad. It moves it back up. Now I can undo this uh, with just three U uh, and actually one more U. Sorry, four movements. Okay. So that moves it back the way it was. The other thing I can do to move this line is I can go into visual line mode, which is uppercase V. So that will highlight that line. I can do delete, move up to here. Again, move this down and paste it and DD. I'm probably not doing this as efficiently as I could. Uh, I think that's the same amount of movement. So if I do for you, yeah, it gets it back to where it is. Okay, so that's how I can move the line up. Now let's take a look at the right here. It should be document.write. Okay, so to fix this, I'm gonna do gg to go to the top and uh, start of the document, but I could just do 2k to get to the top. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is control V to go into uh, visual block mode. So control V and I'm gonna do, let's see, 4j, right? Actually, probably 3j, but anyways. So I have highlighted that first row now I'm going to do uh, shift I to go into insert mode and I'll type document and you see it's only changing on the first one. I'm going to do document dot right. And now I want to hit escape. It adds it for the rest. Okay. So I've fixed that. Next thing I notice here is that um, each of these should have a semicolon after it. JS2 wants me to have a semicolon after it. Now some of, some of the stuff in JavaScript with new browsers and E6, E7 and stuff. You don't need the semicolons, but I want to put the semicolon so the warning goes away. Uh, it's not bright red now, but uh, there is a warning. So I'm going to go to the end of this line, do control V again, do, let's do 3J to go down, uh, do the dollar sign to go to the end of the line. And then to append to the end of the line, I'm going to do shift A and I'm going to type the semicolon and hit escape. Okay, and that's going to add a semicolon to everything. And now we see that the warnings have gone away. Okay, so um, that's how you would fix up this code in uh, Vim. So now let's get to Emacs. And so let me undo this. So I'm going to undo all that, do another undo here. Okay, so we're back to the start. And I'm going to do Alt X and then just type evil mode, and that will toggle evil mode off. So now we're in regular Emacs key bindings. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do control space to set a mark and control N and I'm going to move down here and then I'm going to do control X then type RT to go to rectangular mode. So control X RT. Okay, and uh, so now it's, it's giving me what the default string I could put on there is, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to type document dot right. Okay. And now I'm going to do a control G. Uh, nope, not going to do that. Do control X U, get that back and we're out and we've got the document out right. So we've got that taken care of. So let's try the same method at the end of the line. So I'm going to do control E to go to the end of the line. Uh, I'm going to do, let's do control space to set the mark and control uh, N to get to the end here. And now what I'm going to do is control X R T. Okay, now when I do the semicolon and hit enter, you notice it kind of inserts it like in the middle of the line. Uh, so that's not working. Okay, so I'm going to do control X U. So I'm going to use a different tactic here. 
And the tactic I'm going to use is a macro. And I'm actually just going to start at the end of the, uh, the beginning of the line just to kind of reset it. And so if I'm going to do a macro, I'm going to do the F3 key, which on a Chromebook is the search and then the third key after the escape on the top row. So I'm going to do uh, F3 and it says defining KBD macro. And then I want to do absolute movement. So I'm going to do control E. Okay. And I'm going to put a semicolon. I'm then going to do control N. Okay. So that's going to be my macro. Um, and I could go back to the start line, but since I'm doing control E, it's going to bring me to the end of the line anyways. So that should be fine. So to stop the macro, I'm going to do F4, which on a Chromebook is the search key and then the fourth key on the top row after the escape. So I'm going to do F4 and it says keyboard macro defined. I want to do it three times. So I'm going to do alt three and then F4. Okay. So alt three, F4. Okay, and I've got my semicolons on the end. Okay, so this code is starting to be cleaned up quite nicely. The last thing I want to do is bring that line to the top. So I'm going to do Control P to move up, Control A to move to the start of the line, Control K to kill the line, go up here, uh, go down one, Control Y to paste the line in. We'll just go down here and we'll do Control K to clean that up. Okay, so that's how I cleaned up some JavaScript code and I focused on changing multiple lines in both Emacs and Vim. I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, could you please give it a like as it will help get it out to more people. I also want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.